God bless everyone who is watching and listening to me at this time. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm here to present to you the word of God. And as I've always encouraged you, that it is important that you keep yourself in prayer and you stay away from things that drag you down, things that are draining you down. This can be relatives, this can be people, this can be uh, things that are surrounding you or an environment that is actually a hindrance to your breakthrough. So my brothers and sisters, always remain in God. Walk in the Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, if you are watching me for the very first time, I am Grace and I release the word of God on a daily basis. I pray for you. If you need prayer, please, you can send me a prayer request through my WhatsApp number or through my email address. All those details are right in the about section of this channel. My dear brothers and sisters, remember that you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right and about now. I encourage each and everyone to subscribe to this channel, turn on all the notifications so that you may be able to receive these amazing and future videos. Remember that the word of God is good. The word of God is powerful and the word of God is able to deliver you out of that problem. I have the word for you. And the word for you today is there are people that are trying to persuade a crowd to turn up against you. There are people that are bringing other people into the bracket to put you down. So it is very important that you watch your steps. I pray for you that the Lord will direct your steps. I pray for you that you are able to overcome the traps and wiles of the enemy. The Bible says it clear that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness. So there is a spirit of disobedience, a spirit of wickedness that is unto people. The person that is fighting against you, there's a spirit against that, that is using that person. So when you go to pray, you pray a serious prayer. Don't go and attack that person physically. When someone hates you, abuses you, says, wor says words of uh, discouragement towards you, don't reply to them with those negative words. Pray for them and pray because prayer works. Bible says it clear that a prayer of a righteous man availeth much that is right i want to read you a very powerful scripture that is from the book of acts the book of acts chapter 14 verse 19 to 20 acts chapter 14 verse 19 to 20 the bible says it clear then the jews from antioch and iconium came there and having persuaded the multitudes they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. However, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up and went into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to David. What a very powerful word. The Bible says it clear. Then the Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there they were always looking for paul they came from different locations these were two different locations some of you there are people that have come from different locations to search for you been sent to monitor you to track you down to put you down to actually cause a false statement against you and to set up traps against you the bible says the jews from antioch and iconium they came there and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city. They persuaded the multitudes. I don't know what language they used to persuade the multitudes. Of course, they used, I, I believe, the, Jew, the Jewish language. But there's, even when someone speaks English, there's a way people would speak to persuade someone. 
So they persuaded him. They persuaded the multitudes. They are people that have persuaded those at your workplace to hate you. They are people that are even persuading your boss to hate you. Your landlord to evict you. So they, the Bible says they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city. They are people that have stoned you spiritually, not physically. They have dragged you spiritually into things that don't make sense. Some of you have been dragged into mental illness. You have been dragged into sickness. You have been dragged into court cases. Listen to me. There is someone who is watching me right now. There is someone that has dragged you into a court case. The Bible says it clear. Supposing him to be dead, after, after sonning him, they supposed him to be dead. However, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up and went into the city. They thought he was dead. You see, there are people that thought that you were dead. There are people that did not even, don't, did not expect you to make it this year, this month. After the witchcraft they did, they expected you to fall down. But when believers in Christ started praying for you, do you know there is someone praying for you? I pray for each and every single person who watches me. And I pray for you tonight. That every witchcraft, everyone that is trying to fight against you, they are going to fall down. You are going to gain strength. Whoever has become weak because of the spiritual warfare, I speak supernatural strength. Receive the strength of God in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up. He rose up because they were praying for him. They were encouraging him. You need someone to pray for you. You need someone to stand in the gap with you. To speak words of deliverance to you. We all need each other because we are the body of Christ. The body minus the hands and legs. It is incomplete. It is incomplete. The body without the hands or legs, that body cannot move from one place to another. Mm. The body without the mouth, it cannot speak. So we need each other. And Jesus is the head. Glory to God. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that whoever has wanted to drag you into useless things, whoever has put witchcraft on you, that witch is going to break down. They are going to be put to shame. They are going to know that God actually lives in you. Brothers and sisters, the traps that they set up for you are not going to work. I'm just reminded of a story of uh, Haman. Haman and Mordecai. Very powerful story. I, be, I do believe some of you have come across this story. Where ha Haman wakes up one day with so much hatred and fury, he actually puts gallows to see that Mordecai is hung. But it so happened that the same gallows that Haman set up are the same gallows that were used against him. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, the same traps that the enemies have set up for you are the same traps that those enemies are going to fall into. They will fall into their traps. So trust in God and believe in God. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, Shalom.